Welcome back to the shipyard. Today, we're taking a look at Wave 29's Maratas. This is a Zindi Reptilian warship, a 4142 22 point mid level cruiser. Uh, for an Enterprise era game, definitely a behemoth. I mean, not the aquatic behemoth, but a, a good ship nonetheless. Evade target lock scan battle station, crew double weapon tech. Overall, pretty good. A good action bar. Good slots, double weapon, eh, but eh, kind of what else do you really want? A named ability, when attacking during the modify attack dice step, you may disable one of your active shields to re-roll up to two of your attack dice. I like that because you just get the re-rolls. You can see what you roll, then you make the call. So good timing there. Getting two dice for that effect, definitely a plus. It's a disable, not a destroy. It's a reasonable ability. It can be used on secondary weapons. Also a plus there. Uh, maneuver dial, it's alright. I don't love it. Uh, you know, three combat bouts nice, but it's red. Three turns are red, that's a downfall. Uh, but the two turns are white, that's a plus. Uh, 90 forward firing arc, that hurts it a bit. Uh, generic loses a shield, loses the weapon slot, so it goes crew weapon tech. That, that's alright. Beyond that, it... It's just kind of what it is. And uh, I'm okay with it. It's a 20-point generic ship with four attack dice, five durability. That's okay. Better exist, but not a whole lot. Uh, we do get two captains here. The first is Dolum, skill eight, with a talent five points. During the Gather Forces step, you may treat any of the crew or tech upgrade slots on your upgrade bar as weapon slots. All of your weapon upgrades cost one less 5-point discount max. It's not bad. Dolem's a nice discount. He can, at best, make himself free. He won't, because nobody wants to put 5 weapons on board. But if Dolem is combined with another captain, with fleet captain, then there's a potential use for it. The other captain is Dagra, skill 4, no talent, 3 points. When attacking with a secondary weapon upgrade, gain plus 1 attack die. Plus 2... If the attack is made with a Zindi weapon upgrade. Okay, Dagra is the best, eh, one of the best captains to go with fleet captain, fleet commander. The one that gives you two captains. I'm blanking on my resources right now. But you guys know what I'm talking about. That's the beauty of all of this. Yeah, Dagra is really cool. I like getting a static plus two dice. That is a big plus. Now, all of this would be kind of worthless if it weren't for a Zindi weapon that comes in this pack that makes Degra actually playable. And that is Particle Beam Weapon. This is a asterisk cost, range 1 to 3 weapon. Attack. The attack value of this weapon is equal to the ship's primary weapon value plus 1. This upgrade may only be purchased for a Zindi ship, and the SP cost is equal to the ship's primary weapon value. Okay, so with Dagra, we're getting a plus three straight up. I'm willing to pay primary weapon cost for a plus three to my primary weapons. It's good. It's really, really good. I, I don't care if your primary weapon is three or if your primary weapon is five. That's a nice boost. So yeah, Particle Beam Weapon for a non-unique card. Certainly not something that you are going to buy multiples of for a ship, but across your fleet, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I don't know that anything can top that, but nevertheless, we're going to look at the rest of this pack. Zindi Torpedoes, the other weapon. A three cost, four die, range two to three. Spend your target lock, place three time tokens on the card. If fired from a Zindi Reptilian warship, get another die. Yeah, sorry, no, not, not good enough. And you guys know why. Tech, we have Thermal Chamber. Action, remove all disabled upgrade tokens from all of your Zindi crew upgrades. Add plus four to your captain skill for the round. This upgrade may only be purchased for a Zindi Reptilian warship. It's one of those cards that you go, I, I don't hate it, but how many Zindi crew truly disable? And the answer is not many. 
And then do I really need plus four to my captain skill? No, not really. And so while this is only a three point card, it's just not great. It's okay. It's on the verge of playable and it's not even terrible. It's just middling. And when stuff's middling, it doesn't truly have a home. The other tech is Sensor Encoders, also a three-point card. When defending, you may disable this card to reroll one of your defense dice. If a friendly ship is destroyed, you may discard this card. If you do so, your ship gains plus one agility for the rest of the game. This upgrade can only be purchased for a Zindi Reptilian warship. No ship can be equipped with more than one. Yeah, the action, terrible. Well, not really an action, but the first part of the ability, terrible, because it is essentially an action to reroll a defense die, because you have to re-enable. Bad, 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 bad. But then if it's disabled, you can't trigger the second half of the card. But then it's three points just to have a permanent plus one agility if you lose a friendly ship. It's not worth it. It's so not worth it. I want it to be good, but it's not good. Crew. Reptilian Analysis Team. 5 point, non-unique. Add one tech upgrade to your upgrade bar. When you're supposed to disable a tech upgrade, you may disable this card instead and place three time tokens on the tech upgrade. Two time tokens if it's a Zindi tech upgrade. This upgrade may only be purchased for a Zindi ship, and no ship can have more than one. Yeah, that won't be a problem, because we won't be buying any... There's just no Zindi tech that's really worthwhile. Not really ones that disable. It's cool to have the tools, but there's no cards that need the tools. That's the problem. Maybe someday there will be. All right, our talent. Patience is for the dead. I just like that. That's that's a fun talent name, at least. Uh, Five points. At the start of the combat phase, before any ships have attacked, you may discard this card to attack before all other ships. You cannot roll any defense dice during the round you use this ability. It has potential, because sometimes you just need to attack at skill infinity. But doing so, just... I don't know that it's good enough. There's very few times where getting the jump on somebody really, really makes a difference. And I don't know that I can justify those moments. Certainly not with a five-point card. Like a two-point card? A three-point card? Yeah, I I could go for it. But a five? ah, Just too much. So, overall, you buy this pack for the Degra Particle Beam Weapon combo and boy is it a combo it is a scary good combo fantastic things happen and it's the maratos is a good ship there's good stuff here it is not the be all end all but boy does this pack make zindi playable the other stuff feels like pieces of the puzzle that if more zindi is released down the road way down the road like summer fall 2018 which is possible not likely, but possible, then we will look at this pack with a different lens. As it stands right now, you still want it for the good cards, but it's not something you're going to get a ton of use out of every card. That's not a bad thing, though. So uh, take that for what it's worth. Thank you guys for watching, and until next time, we'll see you around the shipyard. Take care.